Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amazing Grace Daniel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a that bustier with a yoke using skin net. So this is what it looks like. So let's start and show you again. So I'm going to start with my shoulder measurement. And then for this shoulder, I'm taking seven and a half plus two and a half inch extra because I'm doing a dart bust here. So I'm just going to add two and a half inch to that. And then I'm going to create a point that's four inches and then draw a line one inch under from where I marked my shoulder measurement. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my half length, which is nine and a half, 12, uh, 12 and a half, 17 and a half and then 19. I'm going to rule them all out. I actually also added upper bust measurements. That is three inches above the bust point, making it um, that's upper bust, bust point, under bust, waist and full length. So because of the dart bust here, I took six inches for my upper bust. So I'm going to go ahead and take my armhole measurement. For my armhole, I'm taking eight here. This is the measurement I'm going with. I'm going to draw a line at that eight inches there for the chest line and also for the armhole measurement. Okay, so I'm labeling that chest line, CL. That's what I um, wrote there. Then I'm going to draw a rule line straight down, okay, at the chest point. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take half of that which is four inches, mark it, and then come back by one inch and then draw a, sorry, I'm going to take my bust measurement at my chest line plus three inches so that I can um, rule a curve for my armhole. So I'm going ahead to draw out that curve for my armhole and meet it at the three inches where I stopped it. So that's a three inches extra from my bust measurement. So I'm going to take my bust measurement. Sorry, not my bust measurement. I'm taking my dart line, um, four plus half and one inch, which is five inch. I'm going to draw a line there, rule it out from the top to the bottom, that's from the upper bust to the full length. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my bust measurement plus three inches. Even on all of on all of them, the underboss, the waist, the full length plus three inches. So here yeah, you have eight inches plus three, making it eleven inches. I'm going to go ahead, do the same to the waist, eight and a half plus three, that's eleven and a half, and the same on the full length. So I'm going to go ahead and rule them out. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and rule them out and also rule the allowance area as well. So I'm going to go ahead and create my dart point. So I'm going to create one inch here, one inch on both sides, one inch on both sides of my under bust, okay? And then on the upper bust, I'm going to also create the same one inch on both sides. Then I'm going to create a curve um, joining it to the bust point, okay? A curve from the bust point to the under bust and the same curve from the bust point to the upper bust, okay? I'm now going to go ahead and create another half inch on both sides. This time it's half inch, not one inch, on both sides of the waist. And then draw a line down from the under bust to the full length of the dress, of the top, sorry, and then rule it out. I'm going to go ahead now, create a, a curve, like a design curve, at the top of the upper bust for the yoke to separate the yoke from the bustier downwards. So I'm going to cut it off right now. I'm cutting it off right now. The whole um, pattern that we are using, I'm going to cut that off right now. So this is your pattern for your bustier. So I'm going to cut off the yoke out as a separate the yoke area that I'll be using to draft. All right, so now for the yoke, I am going to create my neck region, okay, what I want to use for the neck. But before that, I'm going to cut out the excess. Remember, we added two and a half inch. So I'm going to, I just took 
seven and a half plus one inch here and then mark this part that i'm going to cut out so i'm just marking that this out all right so i'm marking this out that's the excess that we added here because now we don't need all that so i'm cutting this out then i'm going to go ahead and do my neck you know for my yoke okay so this is the material i'm going to be using for both the bustier and the yoke okay so this net is for the yoke and then um, the satin is for the bustier so i'm folded my um doll face satin for my but the down part of my bustier and then i've drafted it and cut it out opened it now for you to see what it looks like when you you know when you open it after folding it and then i'm going to go ahead and create this dart line and and create that that um a parting area on this fabric okay so i'm going to take over the same five inches i took on the pattern paper on the fabric and then rule a line on it okay very simple so i'm now going to go ahead and create all the half inches on it okay the half inch for you to know where the half inch point is you can just take your measurement tape and just continue your tape from like from where they have um how do i explain it but from where your material starts from so i'm just drawing out the lines on them on all the areas from the bust point to the on that bust and the full length then draw out this part of the dart to carve it out okay so i'm taking the one inch on both sides just the same way i took it on the pattern paper and i drew out the lines exactly the same way and that's what you need i'm also doing the same for my lining okay so i'm cutting this out on a pattern paper this is how you're going to cut it on the fabric okay this is the i'm showing you the actual pattern for your bust here okay so this is what the pattern should look like when you cut it out on your fabric and so i'm going to go ahead and do the same on my fabric okay so now i'm cutting it out So after cutting it out on the fabric, you would see that it looks just as exact way, the exact way it looks on the pattern paper. You can see this is exactly what you want to get. Then you will now open the folded area, then take out this other side and take it to the other side, the left side to its own side and the right on its own side. So this is what it looks like. This is what it should look like. I've gone ahead to stone it and pad it with um breast pad you don't have to make it full you can just do half breast pad on each of them but i made it full and then i also added them um, stay to my lining did the same cutting the same way and then sewed my the out the the and the edges together this is what it now looks like really really beautiful this is without the yoke okay so this is what it looks like really beautiful and i'm i also did the same thing for my lining i also sewed it on for my lining the same way i did this one you can see the same way my lining and i'm going to be interfacing it okay interfacing it together like this in but before then let's go back to our yoke our yoke i because the net i pinned it on the net okay and cut the net out so that i can get it perfectly well so this is it after cutting it out this is what your net fabric should look like okay and um, your skin net should look like this is how it looks like really simple okay this is what it looks like on the mannequin this is what it should look like on the mannequin when you do yours okay so next um this is what this is how you place it okay these are you place it when you want to sew it okay these are you place it when you want to sew it and then i'm going to go ahead use my lining interface it and pin it with the this you can see i pinned it here the um the yoke with the bust here 
I'm going to go ahead and also pin the lining to it so that I can sew. Okay, so I've gone ahead to sew it. And you can see that the lining is still lapping over at the tip where they all meet together. As you can see, the lining is lapping here. So I have to press it down with aiming gum, pin it and press it down with aiming gum, and then iron it so that it can give us a smooth finish there and it does not show. Okay, so that's what I want to do right now. So I've gone ahead to do just that by ironing it. And this is now what it looks like. You can see it's really okay and smooth. So this is how you add your yoke to your bustier. This is how you sew your yoke to your bustier. And this is what it eventually looks like. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel.